Evidently very busy. Now another bad guy that the people didn't like was a man named Dr. Crumb, an appropriate name. He was very good at advertising. He did a first public facelift at a beauty convention. And this is a uh, advertisement in 1952 from the yellow plate pages showing that you could do most everything that you wanted. I want to go back to Suzanne Noel, she's a very well-known plastic surgeon from France. She uh, didn't use gloves in her surgical ability <laughs> and technique, but she did describe face lifting, eyelid lifted, forehead lifting, as well as burn and scars. And she did uh, my great aunt's first facelift. I did my great aunt's fourth. <laughs> okay, 1926, here we go. Malpractice suit. Uh, somebody actually did liposuction in the 20s. And what they did was they scraped fat from underneath the skin. And a well known designer was uh, subject to this operation and she lost one leg. Uh, but Dr. Shearson, who was in practice, he didn't care. One leg wasn't good enough for him. He <laughs> lost two. <laughs> Now here's a man named Joseph Sheehan, worked with Gillies, born in Ireland, very, very uh, good kind of guy. He had the largest lawsuit against him for a facelift from um, a uh, producer's wife. He got as much as $10,000 for an operation. He had a tremendous amount of publicity, but he managed to convince the people uh, on the board that he was a very, very important man. And this was